Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Solution Z. In this video, we're going to optimize Fedora 43 KDE Plasma for maximum speed, smoother performance, and a faster desktop experience. Whether you're new to Fedora or a longtime Linux user, this step-by-step -step optimization will make your system lighter, quicker, and more responsive. Let's begin with the most important step, keeping your system fully updated. Fedora releases frequent performance and stability patches, so running an update ensures you're using the latest kernel and drivers. Use the command shown on your screen to upgrade your entire system and refresh all repositories. Once the update is complete, clean up old packages and cache to free up space and improve system health. Next, let's deal with auto start applications. Many background apps launch automatically when you log in, slowing down your KDE startup. Go to your system settings, open the auto start section, and disable unnecessary applications from launching on boot. This simple tweak can cut your startup time significantly and reduce RAM usage. Now we'll move on to DNF configuration, which plays a huge role in Fedora's package management speed. By default, DNF downloads packages one at a time, which can be slow. We'll fix that by editing the DNF configuration file. Use the command on your screen to open the file and add a few lines that enable parallel downloads and activate the fastest mirror option. The small change will make your Fedora updates and installations noticeably faster. After optimizing DNF, it's time to enhance the visual performance of KDE by tuning the KWIN compositor. Fedora 43 comes with KDE Plasma 6, where compositor settings are no longer visible in the system interface, but we can still modify them using terminal commands. Use the command shown on your screen to adjust KWIN's frame rate, refresh rate, and latency policy for smoother animations and minimal input lag. These tweaks are especially useful if you're using an NVIDIA or AMD GPU. Finally, we'll add the RPM Fusion repositories, both free and non-free. These repositories unlock access to additional software and multimedia codecs that Fedora doesn't include by default. Use the on-screen commands to enable RPM Fusion on your system. This will allow you to install a wide range of software easily, from media players to proprietary drivers, without compatibility issues. And that's it, your Fedora 43 KDE setup is now optimized for speed, stability, and better performance every time you boot up. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to support the channel. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a follow-up video on Fedora gaming optimization or desktop customization. This is Yasser from Tech Solution Z, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.